Hi, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is HandmadeInVermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubberton Ford's Brooklyn 4 Light Single Shade Semi Flush. This is the 121375. There's a lot of Brooklyn fixtures in the line that are new. They're all pretty awesome. Let's get into the height of the fixture itself, and that's going to be the distance from the very bottom of the fixture to the ceiling itself, 6.9 inches high. 16.10 inches is going to be the diameter on this. Canopy up in the ceiling, that's going to be a 5 inch round. It's going over your 4 inch junction box. So I'm going to show you more information about this and how we do it as we look at the installation's instructions. So if you're on the page for this on Handmade in Vermont, look over on this side of the screen, midway down. You're going to see a link that's going to say click here for installation's instructions PDF. So open that up for me. It is going to show you lots of great information. It's going to show you a full parts list, and that's good to know now. It's also going to show you um, how all the parts go together, which is super easy on this fixture. It's also going to show you details of how it um, attaches to your junction box. So it's going to show you some drawings of your canopy. Take advantage of it if you get a chance to do that, okay? So let's hit the finishes for a second. You're going to notice there's two pull-down menus. One's going to say choose your finish, and then the other one is going to say choose finish for your accent. So on this fixture, the finish for the fixture is going to be the canopy and just the arms that are coming down to hold the rest of the fixture. That's going to be the fixture itself. That's going to be choose finish for a fixture. Next after that you're going to have choose finish for the shade. So these shades are going to be just that second and these, these are going to be called the accent. So you have two things to do. You can do them all in one finish. That's what most people do on this because this I think there's a really strong design element to this fixture and when you start mixing metals with it it starts to compete with the actual design of the fixture. But that's going to be up to you guys. So if you want to play around and be designer and, and choose some different finishes, this is the modern brass. I think this is a really pretty accent. Uh, that's something you could do, or you can do the whole thing in one finish. So and there's a lot of great finishes from Hubberton Forge to pick through. Okay, let's move on and let's talk about glass really quick. So this is Hubberton Forge's opal glass, which I'm going to get more into detail. It has an embedded ring in it, and that ring, it's a. I used to work in the jewelry industry, so I'm always amazed when I see Hubberton using like beautifully milled engineered pieces. This is almost aircraft quality. It's just a retaining ring. Its only job is to hold the shade, this guy, onto the fixture, but they really go beyond what they need to uh, for, for specking parts. All that said, I want to kind of move on and talk about what's inside of this. So, um, this is going to be using four G9 sockets, and a G9 socket is has a little opening there. It's going to take a G9 bulb, okay, and it's just going to just push in, basically. It's wicked easy. So there you go. G9 bulbs are going to come in different ways. They're going to come with sometimes little tabs on the bottom. They're going to come with little loops of wire on the bottom. When you're looking for these, I would probably recommend doing a couple things. I would probably go onto Amazon.com and use them because they're a great source for G9 bulbs. You could go to a local hardware store, maybe a little limited in what you get, but when you get into Amazon on this, it's pretty good. So in that uh, search bar at the top, just put in G9 LED. Well, I'm assuming you're going to want an LED. G9 LED light bulb and pull that up. You can use the halogen if you want to. So this is going to be um, able to take up to four 60 watt halogens. Okay, and that's you know halogens are fine. A lot of people still love them, but there's some great LEDs out there too. So these are just two of the different types. This is a phosphorus one. So it's got see that yellow pad that's running through the middle of it, and then this one's called a cob one. It's like a corn cob. So these are the two that we use in our showroom a lot, and I got these on Amazon. Um, I'm very picky about the color of light that I like coming out of these things. Um, when I do get these, I generally get them in what's called 3000 Kelvin. I talk about it in every video. That is called warm white. And that's the light that's coming down in my hands right now. It looks exactly like incandescent light. People can't even tell the difference. It's also a dimmable fixture. When I'm buying these, I tend to go for dimmable versions if I can. This is a 75 watt equivalent. This is a, 65, a 60 watt equivalent. They come in 40 watt equivalents and kind of down from there. I haven't found anything beyond this, but you've got four sockets in this, so I think if you did go for the 75 watt equivalent or the 70, I'm sorry, or the 60 watt equivalent, I think there'd be more than enough, enough light coming out of this. Um, and then the other thing is when you're looking at, uh, when these come up on Amazon, you're going to notice you've got the 3000 Kelvin, the one I like. You've got the 2700 Kelvin, that's going to be super yellow light coming out of this. And way on the other side of that, you're going to have what's called daylight. So it's a little misleading because people think that daylight is a warm light. Daylight is a cold, bluish white, you know, like hospital waiting room light. And that's going to be 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 on that Kelvin scale. 
So I want to touch on Hubberton Forge's glass for just a second. Hubberton Forge's opal glass is not just another piece of white glass. This is actually hand-blown glass. All of their glass is hand-blown. And to begin with, it's actually a clear piece of glass to start with. And then they come in, they blow a second layer on the inside of white glass. Then they come back and they do a third step where they sandblast the entire outside. So you'll notice when you get these in your hands, they actually have layers of glass on them on the end. You can see them on these two pieces. And it gives it this really soft, uh, semi-transparent, kind of milky quality. It's, it's a soft, soft glowing piece. Really, really pretty. You know, they're really obsessed about details at Hubberton Forge, and a lot of people don't, um, I don't think they appreciate it out in the world, but you appreciate it because that's why you guys are here watching this video. There you go. Let's talk about Let's get into metal finishes now. If you're on our website, handmadeinvermont.com, do me a favor, look over on the left-hand side of the screen. You're going to see a lot of red tabs over there. One is going to be the Finishes Help Guide. When you're done with this video, go over there and open that up for me, and you're going to see a video at the top of that page of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubberton Forge finishes and how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be referencing a color chart just below the video, so scroll down a little bit, you'll see that chart. You'll notice there are pictures that have the letter A on them, pictures that have the letter B on them, and I'm going to be talking about that range you can see in variants on there in that video, so it's really important to watch the video, use that chart. When you're done with all that, come back down to that chart. You can click on any of those pictures and see a lot more samples of Hubertson Forge fixtures in that finish. If you want to see a bunch of stuff in dark smoke, click on dark smoke. If you want to see a bunch of stuff in vintage platinum, do the same, and so on and so on and so on. That's a great way for you to see a lot of Hubertson Forge stuff in different finishes and really take advantage of that, okay? So our showroom in Vermont has over 350 Hubertson Forge fixtures spread across two floors. <clears throat> we have a what's on display page on our website. It's going to be back in the red tabs over there. A lot of good things in that, that section check out. So when you open that up, you'll see it's all divided up into different sections like uh, dining pendants and outdoor lighting. We're always adding to that. This is the biggest showroom in the world of Hubertson Forge. They don't even have a showroom like this. Nobody does. And they use this as their showroom when you guys come to Vermont to visit us. So lots and lots to see here. <clears throat> you can see all the different glass, all the different finishes, all the different fabrics, all of those things. In addition to that, we have a clearance center. So the clearance center stuff are returns, discontinued things, and showroom samples. That's an amazing deal for you. If you guys want to take advantage of that, you, gotta, you have to come here to, to Vermont to see us. And when you do... Do me a favor, measure all the kind of things about your project and what you guys are doing. So the most important thing is measure your ceiling heights to begin with. Measure distances between junction boxes and like windows and ceilings and those kind of things. So we, if you're looking at sconces on the wall, you can see if they're going to fit for you. If you're doing pendants over a kitchen island, measure the distances between those junction boxes. Widths of tables, kitchen tables, dining tables, uh, lengths of tables islands, all that good stuff. <clears throat> and also uh, do a couple more things. If you guys have some tablets or iPads lying around, take pictures of all these things. Take pictures of the, of the kitchen, take pictures of what the projects you're doing. Bring that in so we can kind of go through those pictures together and we'll be able to see what you guys are up to, okay? And also the boxes and clearance stuff, for clearance stuff, are basically uh, packed for shipping. Don't forget, these were supposedly shipped out. So <clears throat> the boxes tend to be on the bigger side, so bring a decent size SUV if you want to take stuff home. It's a really good opportunity for you. When you buy your Hubbardson Forge fixtures from HandmadeInVermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There's no tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. We're the only dealer that offers 90-day returns and no restocking fees. That's three months after you receive something to send it back, and there's no restocking fee on that. Some larger items and custom things, and it's usually going to be big things on pallets are going to be non-returnable. It'll always tell you on the page for uh, an item if that is the case, so always keep an eye out for that. And we also offer a rush program. So to get all these different metal finishes, Hubberton Forge doesn't stock. It, they generally take about three to four weeks to get product out. We can cut that time in half, and it's really, really inexpensive. If you want to know more about that, just drop me a quick email, and I can clue you in on details, okay? So our showroom in Vermont is open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to drop a quick email, you can do that all the time. And that's going to be at sales at handmadeinvermont.com, and we spell out the word Vermont. <clears throat> or you can call me during business hours, 802-446-2400. So thank you for stopping in today, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.